Hi everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. I'm starting off my morning out here in the living room. I'm looking on Marketplace for any good deals, drinking my cup of coffee and having a chocolate chip muffin. Now today guys is one of the coldest days so far. It's about 23 degrees now. I want to do some things outside, but it is going to be super cold here and I'm going to have to use my winter coat. But I was just thinking guys, I want to get the fireplace going sometime today. So why don't we bring some firewood in for that? Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. I'm thinking if we bring a few logs in, this should do the trick here. Now we do have heat, but it's always nice to have a fire here and I get to sit by it and just kind of have one going. This will probably be our first one of the year, which is super exciting here. And having these nicely split wood that we did uh, three, four weeks ago are going to burn quite well. Let's see, so that should be good. And we do have some more out on the front porch. So I won't get it started until later tonight when I'm home uh, and inside the house. But let's head to the garage here. We do have some wrenching to do on a few things. I've driven the Ram 1500 all week guys and I am really liking it so far which is super exciting now I do want to order a few things here for it I definitely want to get some window tint I really want to get a bed cover here especially with snow I don't want to have to shovel with the snow out same with the Ford Raptor here but guys I think that is it for the Ford GT and the Porsche until next year because it is just way too cold uh, to be driving those here but we have to get going on an oil change now guys, the weatherman says that we're getting snow within the next week. He wasn't sure which day it was, like two days next week we're going to get snow. So, I want to get a few things ready. I have to put the plow back on the truck, but I was able to get the snowmobile out from the barn and I really, really want to get the oil changed here. I want to make sure this is good to go. That way we could go ripping around the first snowfall here. So I'm thinking let's get this opened up here. Let's get going on an oil change. All right, I just finished the oil change here. I was just double checking the track. It looks to be good and just making sure this is ready to go here. But while I was changing the oil, I actually got a call from one of my friends. He said he saw a snowmobile on Marketplace for like $400. It's a little bit older, but he told me to go check it on out. So we're going to take the Ford Raptor. Let's get the utility trailer. And I, I really want to go see. I will buy it if it's $400 and it runs in. It, uh, it would be another toy we could have. It seems like guys I'm always finding deals on the marketplace or someone is letting me know of the good deals and with this snowmobile I was thinking I was talking to my friend that when I have buddies come in uh, riding with me we could actually uh, do that there so I think that's going to be really helpful if we could get a second snowmobile here but we'll go check it out. I got the address here and I did text him that I would be on my way here. Look at that guys. Diesel is out and about. Oh yeah look he's sitting there. He's going to be waiting for us to pull back in the driveway when we get back here. Now guys, the homeowner series comes back to the Xbox this weekend, which I'm super excited for. Sunday, stay tuned for that video. It's been in the works here. I've just been waiting for more and more mods to get released. And I think this is a perfect opportunity to bring that series back, which I'm super excited for. The Ford Raptor here is a good daily driver here. That twin turbocharged V6 definitely has the power, but I think, guys, I want to get the Raptor R. I want that extra horsepower, and I, I, I just really do like having a big old V8 here. But here we are, guys. We are here at the house. Let's, uh, oh yeah, look at that. The snowmobile is uh, right out front. Now, one thing I will say, guys, I'm not sure if you've uh, gone uh, to pick up anything from the marketplace and all the different ads is, but are you at the right house? And luckily here, uh, they have it in the driveway here. Wow, this looks like probably a 15 to 20 year old snowmobile. I'm not sure the year. Let me see if there's a year on it. Oh, this is from 2004. So yeah, that is uh, quite old here. But let me go see if I could talk with him, work out a deal, and then I'll go over it with you guys if I end up picking up. With a little bit of negotiation, guys, it is ours. $350 here. So he said he just put a new engine in it about four years ago uh, here, which is super exciting. And it fires right up here. This is going to be super sweet here. Really, I'm excited for this one. This one doesn't seem like it's uh, kind of a sporty, fast snowmobile, but 
it's uh, still going to be a lot of fun to go riding around with here. I do have to do a little bit of work to it. I definitely want to put a new track on it, new skis on the front, and it just, uh, just replace a few things that definitely are shown a little bit of age, including maybe getting a new seat uh, since the stitching is coming through here. But I'm going to do an oil change on it when we get back to house. I think that's a good idea. Look at that guys, Diesel's in the same exact spots as when we left here. He definitely was waiting for us. He's going to be running over to us within the next minute or so. Uh, before I even hop out of the truck, he's going to be on over here. But let's get this thing unloaded. I do want to just show you guys a little bit of the differences between our snowmobile and this one that we picked up. But like I mentioned guys, I think that this is going to be a really good price. Uh, $350 and we could have some extra uh, friends come along with us and things like that. And always have a second one here so you guys can see the, the uh, Polaris we have is definitely for kind of a very fast, very sporty. And it's also uh, almost brand new, which was super expensive. But yeah, we just picked that up. We actually have to hop in the Cummins now to head over to dealership. Guys, we're going to be needing the Cummins for towing here because we are making a pretty big change. We're going to be trading in our toy hauler for a camper trailer. We are going up in size in camper trailer here. So this is going to be a big, big thing. And this is going to be our only truck that can tow it, which I am super excited for here. But we'll get backed up to it. I did clean out the camper like three, four days ago. So we're all ready to go to head over. We've gone on several camping trips with this toy hauler, but it's time for a change and there is a few different things happening this time around because previously we only had a, a Ford F-150 and we couldn't tow a big uh, toy hauler. So this trailer was the biggest that truck can tow, but now that we have this Cummins 2500, I want to buy something that this truck is capable of here and that means we could buy something even bigger and we are actually going to be making the switch from a toy hauler to a regular camper but we are going to be going to a fifth wheel. Look at that guys, they have it right out front here for us. Wow, that looks to be way bigger in person than what I was expecting it to be. So our current trailer is right around 25 feet and we are moving up to a 40 foot uh, gooseneck here. So we're just going to disconnect it. We won't get attached just yet. I do want to go over the differences here. All the paperwork's done, which is good. So like I mentioned guys, we are going to be going from a bumper pull to a gooseneck here. It's going to tow a lot easier, a lot smoother, and it's going to be a little bit easier on the truck as well here. And maneuverability will be pretty good here. It's the same height clearance there. Now we are going to be able uh, to fit a few extra uh, friends and family members in here, which is going to be perfect. But like I mentioned, this is only a camper, so we can't uh, fit any toys inside like an enclosed trailer. But wow. This thing is pretty sweet. Super excited. Why don't we get the uh, Cummins here and get it attached here. Now one thing I have to do is actually fold the bed cover back. That way we could get attached here. It's been a long time since I attached to a gooseneck here. So right there should be good. Perfect. Alright guys, all the paperwork is done. Why don't we uh, take a look at it back at the house. I want to get it unfolded. Show you guys everything about it. But like I mentioned guys, this thing really needs a big strong truck here and this Cummins is going to be perfect here. Probably should have bought a dually, but you guys can see the truck is definitely showing uh, the uh, heavy weight of this thing. This is probably 15 plus thousand pounds. It is super heavy. This winter, guys, I want to go camping quite a bit here, so we'll definitely get a lot of use out of this, including the spring and the upcoming summer months here, so we'll definitely have a lot of fun with this thing, but I really need to book a trip, maybe later on today when I go inside, now that we have a toy haul, I could uh, book a trip for the mountains, and uh, we could uh, go have some fun out in the snow, skiing, things like that, and that is one tight fit there with our uh, gate there. I need to get a wider gate, that is something. I need to get worked on there, but let me show you guys this. This fully unfolds. We have slide outs and everything like that here. So we'll get switched on over to it. look at that. So we have slide outs in the front, back, and everything like that. Why don't we go inside and take a quick look at this here so you guys can see. That's the other thing, guys. This is fully interior, which is pretty sweet here. Look at that. We have a couch. Uh, we have some very nice recliner chairs. We have a huge, I think that's a 45-inch TV. I mean, that is super luxurious here. Look at how big the refrigerator is, guys, in the kitchen here. Wow, this is awesome. Now, that is a pull-out couch, so we could have someone sleep there if we want. 
And let's see, I'm not sure if we could walk up there due to the collisions, but you guys can see there's a bedroom there. And then we got another bedroom up there over the fifth wheel. But there we have it, guys. Today was a busy day here. Now I have to get this moved and actually put the snow plow on the truck. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.